I'm Lillian. I'm Amy. Got my degree with the electrical power MRM. Uh, at first, I started working as an electrical designer, and then I, at that time, I realized that uh, how light can transform the space and the arch architecture and the deeper emotion. So that is how I started interested interested in light. So uh, when I moved to Singapore, I had an opportunity to work in lighting industry. So I took that chance at the granted and this is how I got into lighting industry. So I was graduated with a landscape architecture degree in Taiwan. And around eight years ago, when I was trying to shift my career path to do architecture design, an architectural lighting design firm in Taipei contacted me for an interview. And I went in because it sounds like it's architecture related. And this accident turned out to be a very fruitful journey for me. And throughout all these years, I've encountered so many creative professionals and also my colleagues who has uh, never stopped inspiring me to, uh, to get into lighting industry. How about you, Lillian? Mm -hmm. I was formally trained as a landscape designer and eventually got my bachelor's degree in spatial design. In the two years of my higher education study, I had an opportunity to intern in the Singapore Lighting Consultancy Firm. And from then on, I grew a strong interest in the lighting industry, particularly in the areas of product development and aesthetic applications. Lighting inspired me to keep up with the trends in arts, in architecture, and interior, and even landscape design because. Light is just everywhere. How about you, Lillian? Personally, I love nature. This allows me to observe how the sun reflects light into the natural surroundings that humans have no control over. But with artificial lighting, we can influence how people feel in space with using LED technology. Okay, as I mentioned before, I, the light can enhance the space and the transform the people feeling. So even the normal room can change into very interesting and magical places by using the light. So uh, if we want to emphasize on the architecture or uh, the product at the store, we use a brighter light on the surface and using the playing with the color and also the uh, changing the contrast that can try the my favorite projects to work on is living cluster projects. Living spaces are personal and expressive reflection of its inhabitants. Um, lighting up these spaces um, requires me to be adaptable to various clients' needs and also challenge my own assumptions of what constitutes to good lighting. One of the biggest challenges I'm working on living cluster projects everyone perceives lighting very differently. Therefore, our role as lighting design support, we should be sensitive to our clients' needs in providing the right lighting solutions to cater to their personal perceptions. Mm -hmm. What about you, Lisa? Uh, among them, I am really into the warm cluster because uh, most of our guys are, we are staring at our computer and if our surround light is not sufficient, our eye can get and we can feel the difference. So by using the psychology of light uh, can increase our office uh, creativity and the productivity. Precise lighting technology provides the low energy cost, visual comfort and also the avoidance of grey hyperbox space. How about you Amy? Um, I like to work on culture projects. Um, I find museums are quite interesting because the uh, museum itself could be an artwork uh, that represents a city uh, or a country. Lighting can really optimize visitors' experience um, by meeting the practical needs of all audience and the uh, aesthetic aspect of a museum design. And it helps tourists to you know, like read the museum labels or read the signages so they won't get lost and also to have a comfortable environment for them to stroll around and basically just immerse themselves in architecture. So proper lighting scheme uh, is very important so that the architects and curators work won't be in vain. 
My words for women in lighting is that light is a really feminine medium. It is subtle and intangible. Sometimes being too sensitive and perceptive is necessary to design spatial ambience that fits the right context of the space and influence human emotions in a deeper level. There is negative connotations to being too sensitive, but for women in lighting, I think it's a superpower you can embrace. The message for the other women in lighting is to be more confident and the courage. Uh, continuous learning is the key. If we are more knowledgeable, we have more confidence and more courage to speak out. I agree to both means with Lillian's point. Um, it is absolutely important to use your venomous quality as a strength and to stay curious, to learn more, to be able to have a voice in such a male-dominated um, industry. So I would say know who you are and what you're capable of and never stop learning because that's where you get your courage and your confidence from. Thank you. It's a wrap.